Welcome to Rome, the eternal city. My name is Robbie Travels and I'm so excited to be sharing this adventure with you. Let's go! Right over here we have the Trajan's Forum. It was actually the last imperial forum made here in Rome. Uh, it officially opened in the year 112 and was uh, financed with the spoils of war from the Dacian Wars. This is how it looks like. The nice ruins over here with the impressive Trajan's column. So beautiful. Look at the details. Great place. Everywhere in Rome you can find these ruins across the entire city. Beautiful historic buildings. Yeah. Amazing place. Over here we have the impressive 35 meter high Trajan's Column, located inside Trajan's Forum, which commemorates Roman Emperor Trajan's victory in the Dacian Wars. The Trajan's Forum was designed by architect Apollodorus of Damascus. So near the Trajan Forum we have the Trajan Markets over here. It's a complex of more than uh, 150 shops and offices that they built here during the reign of Emperor Trajan. And uh, this is it actually. Very beautiful. So the products they sold here in these markets came from all across the Roman Empire. Products like vegetables, fruits, spices like pepper, oil, everything you could imagine of in this period of time. They all sold it here in this market that was once one of the oldest shopping malls in the entire world. Trajan's Market is a large complex of ancient ruins located on the Via dei Fori Imperiali near the Colosseum and the Forum of Trajan. The complex was built in the early 2nd century AD as a multi-level commercial center that included shops, offices, warehouses and apartments. The market was designed by the architect Apollodorus of Damascus who also designed the Trajan's Column and other important public buildings in Rome. The market was built on a slope that allowed to construct multiple levels of shops and offices, with a central courtyard that served as a gathering place for shoppers and visitors. The market's impressive architecture includes massive brick-faced concrete walls and vaults, with decorative features such as marble floors, columns and statues. In addition to its commercial and civic functions, Trajan's market may have also had a military role as it was connected to the nearby barracks of the Praetorian Guard. Today Trajan's market is a popular tourist attraction and cultural center in Rome, hosting exhibitions, events and conferences. Visitors can explore the ruins and learn about the history and architecture of this fascinating complex. This is actually a very nice area to walk in. It's uh, the monument of Victoria Emmanuel II. It was made in honor of the first king of unified Italy, Victor Emmanuel II. And uh, you can see it's actually really large in size. So it has a few nicknames like the typewriter, the wedding cake. And uh, if you want, you can actually go all the way up there and enjoy a nice view over Rome. It's one of the biggest monuments I ever saw in my life, to be honest. Wow, what a sight. The epic Victor Emmanuel II monument was built between 1885 and 1935 to honor Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of a unified Italy. The monument also holds the tomb of the Italian unknown soldier with an internal flame, built under the statue of Goddess Roma. This monument is another nice place to visit in the area, especially during the golden hour or sunset, to enjoy some nice views of the city of Rome. So 
so such a nice view we have here look at this especially during the golden hour with the beautiful light on the buildings so nice it's actually free to get up here but uh, if you want to go all the way up there you have to pay a small fee so in case you're interested in that but I think it's already worth it to just go here to this part it's free and you already have a beautiful view so right over here for a fee you can take an elevator to the top of the monument for a higher viewpoint over Rome Pompidoglio Square is one of my favorite squares in Rome. It is so beautiful, designed by Michelangelo in the 16th century. So let's take a look around, it's so beautiful. In the center of the square we have the statue of Marcus Aurelius sitting on his horse here it's actually a copy of the original statue that was placed here that if you want you can visit it inside the Capitoline museums which are located here and on the other side here so that's really nice and uh, over here we have the Palazzo Senatorio it's actually the oldest city hall in the world dating back from 1144 really beautiful building so ever since that time this place has been the city hall of Rome very beautiful square I love to be here and even now at sunset it's so beautiful to walk here if you look closely I don't know if you will see it on the camera but inside you can see some artworks yeah beautiful place and after seeing the oldest active city hall in the world over here we have one of the oldest museums in the world dating back to 1471 amazing place like I said before like I say plenty of times but it's absolutely an amazing place Wow so beautiful designed by Michelangelo what an artist one of my favorites together with uh, Leonardo da Vinci and of course Van Gogh Picasso as well <laughs> almost forgot him so to end our walk for today we are here at uh, Largo di Torre Argentina already too dark to film it good but it's a great way to end this trip it has the remains of four Roman temples as well a part of it was uh, the theater of Pompeii where uh, close to that location Julius Caesar was assassinated so yeah it's a great way to end this uh, day and see you again soon take care love you guys cheers